Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do another beer review for you. Um, let's ring for a beer, see what we've got. That always misses beer though. Um, we're going to do another Asvex beer and we're going to do this one here. And this is Asvex Chariot of Helios. This is a double IPA coming at 8% ABV. It's hopped with mosaic, Nelson Sauvin, Citra and Nectaron. I am canned on the 9th of October 2024 and it's best before the 9th of July 2025. It says that on the bottom there. On the back, I am vegan friendly. Um, hops, barley, oats, wheat, yeast, usual caper. As Brew Brewing Co. Unit 16 or 15, King, King Edward Roach, Bolton Row, Liverpool L37NJ, I think it is. I am. Um, before we crack on with this, Asvex, possibly, possibly at the moment, the best brewer in the country, possibly, um, certainly for consistency, the beers are just high, high quality, we'll just we'll get on with this, I just want to pop the top and see what we've got, um, yeah, high quality, always churn out top, top much stuff, I've never had a bad beer from, to be fair. Right, here we go. So, wow, look at that. That pours a really light, straw, yellow, hazy. Look at that, beautiful stuff. Let's get it all in. Fuck, as much as we can in. There we go. Right. Here we go. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? Let's start at the top, work our way down. We've got just over, I don't know what I'm doing that for, um, two and a half fingers of densely compact white head. Beer itself is a lovely, thick looking, opaque orange. That is a beautiful looking thing. Let's put the torch to it, see what happens. Look at that. that is, look, that's a beautiful little night light, isn't it? Gorgeous stuff, absolutely gorgeous. I can smell zesty orange from here. Uh, it's about, about three or four inches away from my face. Um, yeah, as I was saying, they are uh, a top notch, top notch brewer at the moment. Um, yeah, let's go for the nose. Oh, wow, that's just fabulous. That's loads of citrus. Loads of citrus in there, loads of zest, lemon, limes, um, tangerines, satsumas, small orange fruit. There's a little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of tropical fruit on the nose as well. That's really, really cool. Really cool. Right, let's go for the body combination. Cheers, everybody. Oh my days. That is crack-a-lacking. That is absolutely delicious. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's gorgeous. Body is uh, light to medium bodied. You know what? In fact, I'll even go say it is, it is medium bodied. Carbonation is soft and it's, it, ro it, it rolls across your tongue. Ah, it's just delicious. Absolutely delicious. Right, let's get the big taste, shall we? Cheers. Wow. Wow. That is banging. It really is delicious 8% well hidden you wouldn't know that was 8% beer it is packed packed with zest with pith with peel with citrus there's grapefruit in there there is tangerines there's satsumas there's a little bit of orange in there um, there's a light Excuse me, there's a little bit of a sweetness just to kind of tame all that 
Well, that's citrus. Well, that's citrusine. Citrusiness? Citrus. I am. Um, it's quite a. Back end is like semi dry, but again, it, it's one of those ones that the more you drink it, the more it kind of layers and layers and layers, and it increases in 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 in, in dryness, but does it get out of hand? And now I've got another, another waft of orange coming through as well. It's just beautiful. It really is absolutely beautiful. This could be i've had some good recently i've had some good really good dippers um the track beak and rivington pyramid scheme was top notch this is right up there with that um this could be double ipa of the year when i come to do my annual move that me once be that beautiful it's not that anyone gets any any trophies or anything but the, the nominations are quite nice and the, for me the i think the accolade is very good not that anybody pays attention to what i say or what i do i am if i'm rambling this is fantastic fantastic crack a lack as i say beautiful but I lost my words. All I'm going to do is just repeat superlatives and I'm going to repeat myself and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to finish this. And tomorrow we start the Advent Stop Box. And that I am really looking forward to. I have picked, well, I hope I've picked, some absolute clonkers of of stouts i think the weakest one on the list is 6.4 6.5 i think the strongest one is around 13 maybe touching 15 percent so it's everything in between they're all stouts i'll the bulk of them are going to be imperial stouts there's going to be a few battle age ones in there as well and uh, as i say i'm going to clear that space there I'm going to put it on there. You'll see me opening it. And then we'll review it. And I hope you like it. So, if you've had this beer, I'll wrap this up. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Put a little comment in the comments box below. Do you like the video? Like if you don't, subscribe down here. I will put a link to the Asmex website in the description box. I don't think this beer is on the website. I could be wrong. Um, I just haven't looked. Um, so, until the next one. Another, I say, your advent starts and for another daily dose of Dave. Whatever you're drinking, I hope it's tasty. Hell yeah.